Stay connected with the latest in wellness and healthcare news. Find Faith Community Hospital on Facebook and Twitter. Visit fchtexas.com for more information. In Jacksboro with head coach Brian Hodnett and your Tigers, uh, I tell you what, I, as I drove through town on the way over here uh, to do the interview, uh, there is a sea, a sea of uh, purple flags out in uh, the downtown square and all up and down. Uh, there's a lot of pride in this community, and uh, you guys brought it home once more on Friday night in a very close game. Give us a rundown on that game. Yeah, we, uh, we had a great game with Holiday. Um, it was our last game at home. Um, we, we were undefeated going into it at home, and that was a big deal for, for our seniors, for our team, to, to remain undefeated at home. And um, they, they Holiday played really good. Uh, the Cole kid, the quarterback, uh, I think he scored all three of their touchdowns and <laughs> made some big plays. Um, but our kids just fought to the bitter end. Uh, we, we did some great things. Our defense, it was probably the best defensive performance we've had since I've been here. Uh, those guys did a great job. Well, don't you love to see that as you uh, progress on – uh, through the playoffs. Absolutely. Your, your running game and your defense has really got to step up in the playoffs, and that's what our kids did Friday night. Uh, you know, Garrett Johnson scooped up a fumble and returned it for a touchdown. Uh, anytime you score a defensive touchdown, that's big. Uh, offensively, we had some chances late in the game uh, to, to win it in regulation, and, and it was frustrating that we couldn't get it done, but super proud of our kids. We, we jumped in an overtime situation, and, you know, we haven't worked on overtime very much. We did it in one of the first scrimmages of the year. And that end of the field, and the same, you know, same area, and, and they, they remembered, you know, the rules and, 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 and just how everything was going to go. And, and we got the ball, and we scored in about five plays. And um, unfortunately, Holiday drove down and scored, and it came down to one play, and they decided to go for two. And, and our kids made the play, and we ended up winning 21 to 20. Probably the biggest program win that we've had in three years, and uh, just gives us a lot of momentum going into the playoffs. So we couldn't be happier about where we're sitting today, and, and super happy for our kids. And the, the excitement has generated all the way through the school, through the campuses, through our community, and, and everyone here is just just eat up with winning right now, and that's good. That's why you want it to be. Absolutely. Uh, well, yeah, it's a lot more fun to win, and uh, you know the, the 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 because of the kids schedule we, we couldn't get a couple of kids to talk to today so we just invited the whole team in and uh, we, we got the whole good looking group here including uh, all of your coaching staff uh, along the top of the mural here you know that we we've we generated that, I guess, two or three weeks ago when we became eligible for the playoffs. And uh, that you can see that around town, I guess, two or three places. Uh, to, just to get in the playoffs was a goal of ours. And, uh, you know, we were able to reach that. And then to, to beat Holiday and go in, that sets us up really well for this first-round game against Blooming Grove. We're excited about that. Uh, it's a place we haven't been in a long time. But uh, I think I'm excited for so many reasons. But, you know, we're going to get to dress up those JV kids and, and have them stand on the sidelines and let them get a taste of playoffs. And, and we want that to become the expectation. Every year that's what you do. And uh, there's just so many positives that come out. You know, a lot of people uh, are through with football, and we're going to get an extra week of practice. That's a big deal. And uh, you start stringing things like that together, and, and good things continue to happen. So we're really excited to where to be where we are. But we know we got a lot of work to do this week. Bloom and Grove will be ready to play. They're, they look really good on film. Uh, but uh, I, I think the Tigers look pretty good, too, so we're ready to go. Absolutely. Well, and a lot of excitement uh, about that game and as you progress through the playoffs. Uh, I understand that we've got a very, very special guest uh, to talk to uh, today, and uh, we want to we want to bring him on now. Yeah, it's uh, we run a little fever this morning, so <laughs> my son came to work with me today, and uh, we'll see if we can get him to, to talk a little bit into the mic. We'll see what we can do. Let's give it a whirl. Sounds good. Well, who do we have here, Coach? This is my son, Kaysen. He's two and a half. As if we couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah, he, he favors me a little bit, but uh, yeah. he didn't didn't feel very good this morning. We couldn't take him to daycare, so he got to come with me. He's helping me game plan, getting ready for the playoff game. Well, I'm sure he is. Listen, I like that cap, Kaysen. Did your dad give you that? Yeah. Yeah. Are you a Tiger fan? Yeah. Say yes, sir. Say yes, sir. Sir. I, I I would be willing to bet that uh, that you've got some purple up in your room. Do you have some purple in your room? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. yep. Do you go to the games with your dad and your mom? Yeah. No. Can you say, say yay purple? Yay what? 
saying, fa, fa, fa. <laughs> and on that note, we'll wind up our season uh, with you, Coach Hodden, and we look forward uh, to next year. Yes, sir. Thank you, Bob. We appreciate it and appreciate the exposure for, for our kids and our program. Thank you. Bye-bye, Cajun.